Hi, this is Max here from the Better Universe, and I uh, apologize for not making a video for the past two days, but at least been a little hectic. You know, sometimes there's not enough hours in the day to fix what happened in the first 30 minutes. Jim Rohn calls these winter times. When shit hits the fan, when Murphy's Law is beating you down, when you lack motivation and your inspiration is lying on the floor, these are the tough times. It's a test of your will, your strength, but most often it's a reflection of your summertime. What did you do during your chance of opportunity? Those limited number of days that you had to accept the challenge and take advantage of it. Did you plant, grow, and harvest? Or did you sit around in the shade and stay cool? If you stay cool in the summer, you'll stay cold in the winter. I mean, what does all this mean, Max? What is this gypsy talk? If you work hard when your summers are here, that's your opportunity. You'll be able to spend your winters in Florida, so to speak. The bad times, like the seasons, are not here to stay, they're here to pass. But the quickness in which they pass depend on your ability to take action. Sometimes things begin to compound and become overwhelming and it can put us into a state of low times for weeks or days or months or years. But the only thing that brings us out of it is action. Take action against procrastination Take action against irresponsibility. Take action against depression. And you will find your winters will become shorter, more enjoyable, more comfortable. Some people have very high lows and other people have very low highs. What's that mean? You have everyone living on different levels. You have homeless people living on the streets and you have your millionaires living in their mansions. A millionaire's low may be right here, while a homeless person's high may be right here. And his low is rock bottom. Your rock bottom and his are totally different experiences. In relevance, his rock bottom, the homeless man, and somebody starving and surviving for their life two different experiences, it's all relative to another. So, just remember that you want to try and have high lows, not low highs. How do you do that? How do you make it so the tough times aren't that tough? Work on yourself, personal development. Some people say, I'm not into self-help books. Who, who else is going to help me help myself better than me? And the guy's overweight. He's broke. He's hopeless. He's helpless. He has no future. I think it's okay to ask for help. It's not okay to ask for help because you can. It's okay to ask for help because you need it. It's important. If you're always going around just asking for help, then you're helpless. Because if you can't help yourself, you can't help anybody. So make it a point to work on yourself. And I'll give you one good reason why. You're going to spend the rest of your life with yourself. You think the dog's barking is annoying and the kid's yelling and your wife nagging. You think all these things affect you inside? Why don't you look at your own mind? How constant does that run? How many negative things does that thing say? Oh, you're in control of it. You control your thoughts and emotions, huh? For one minute, I want you to clear all your thoughts out. Just a blank slate up there, nothing going on, right? One minute, that's all. Pause the video, give it a try. So where's your control now? You don't have it. How about this? 
for five minutes. Just try and think of just happy thoughts. That's it. Nothing about what you're going to do today, or just, but just happy thoughts. You know, past events, whatever. Go ahead. Pause the video. Give it another try. You don't have control. You don't have control over your mind, your body, your energy. And if you're not working on it, you're not going to get control over it. That's where the power of life comes from control. Control over your own life and destiny. If you don't realize you're out of control, you can never take control back. That's what this 60 day challenge is about taking control back, training your mind, body, and energy to do what you want as we tell them to, not as they so see fit. To come out of compulsive thinking and habits make a real life change that actually matters but to make real life change we have to push through those tough times if you're not pushing through the tough times you're not making real change because <clears throat> that's when your disciplines and habits start to really stick and you don't have anything left in the tank but you still do something that's ingrained in you. It's part of who you are, regardless of your circumstances of that day. It doesn't matter. You're committed to growth, whether it's through challenging times or easy times. And that'll make you the best and highest version of yourself. And that's what we're trying to achieve here. Day 9 of 60. Missed meditation twice. Still haven't dipped yet, which I'm proud of. I thought that would be the hardest one. Um, woke up at 6 one day. But other than that, we're still sticking strong. No matter how tough life gets. When life looks at you and pushes, stand the hell back we're pushing hard. This is Max from a better universe, your mind, body, spirit connection. Get ready to change your life. Still got 59 days. I'm sorry, 51 days. Stick to it.